I cannot believe I am about to say this, but we are officially one day out from the mega heavyweight undisputed fight between the great Alexander Usek versus another great Tyson, the Gypsy King, Fury. This fight for so long has been postponed, canceled, moved, you name it, for so long now. We were supposed to get this fight back in April of 2023, and we got it postponed to December of 2023, then February of 2024, but we are now officially getting it. May 18th, it goes all down in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and I could not be more excited for this fight, but I know that's not why you all are here you all are here to see who i have winning and why i have winning which i am going to give you but first i want to go over the history of why this fight is so big and so magnificent it has been 25 years since we have seen an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world when Lennox Lewis beat Evander Holyfield back in the 1990s. So to be the first heavyweight undisputed champion in 25 years, and it is going to be between Usek and Fury, that is just a historic moment in the sport of boxing. Another big reason why this fight is so huge. Both of these fighters are undefeated peak for peak at the primes of their career. And they are going to put it all on the line to see who is the true number one in the heavyweight division. You have a man in Tyson Fury who, after he had the biggest win of his life beating Vladimir Klitschko in a unanimous decision back in 2015, to go through everything he went through, he was on the verge of suicidal. He ballooned all the way up to 400 plus pounds. Everybody wrote him off. And for him to make that comeback, to dominate Deontay Wilder two out of the three times that they ended up fighting, and to be in this position to be an undisputed heavyweight champion, I mean, if you told me back in 2017 that Tyson Fury was going to be fighting for the undisputed championship in 2024 I would have called you crazy but no it is not crazy at all it is actually going down so that is a, one big reason why this is huge for Tyson Fury and why everything for him is on the line coming into May 18th and for Alexander Usyk to be considered the greatest cruiserweight of all time, to have an already Hall of Fame career, but he said, no, I want more. I want to be an all-time generational talent to move up to heavyweight and in your third fight at heavyweight, unify the heavyweight division, claiming three belts by having the performance of a lifetime against Anthony Joshua. And then to say, I want to be undisputed. I want to be the best heavyweight in this division. I want to be the best heavyweight of this era. And to put that all on the line after already having a Hall of Fame career and wanting to risk even more just shows how great Alexander Usek is. Not to mention him having to leave boxing for about six to nine months to help his country back in Ukraine when they were going through the war with Russia. So not only is this just an undisputed championship fight, which is already big in itself, but you have two guys undefeated at the peaks of their career, willing to risk everything to prove that they are number one. The winner is going to be shown as the greatest heavyweight of probably this era and possibly a top 10, top 15 fighter of all time, while the loser will not even scratch any of that surface. So two big implications going into this fight. You have two men with two completely different styles going into this fight, but what are the biggest keys for each fighter? For me, Alexander Usyk needs to keep Fury guessing. He needs to keep Fury on the back foot, keep him guessing what he's going to do, what he's not going to do, and just not let Fury get in a groove. I think if Usyk is able to really control range and control the distance, get on the inside, attack that body, I think Usyk is going to have a clean cut, easy victory in this fight. He also needs to get on the inside more and keep his footwork and head movement on key, which we already know Alexander Usyk is one of the best in the world. I mean, he is a technician. He is just like Lomachenko. He is part of the matrix in and out, in and out, footwork, head movement, up and down, side to side. He has it all. If he is able to keep that for 12 rounds straight, which we have seen he is capable of doing, then Alexander Usyk is going to have a lot of success going into this fight. For Tyson Fury, 
he needs to stick and move. I think I know we've seen a different version of Fury uh for the past two, three years after the Wilder 2 fight, coming forward, being aggressive, being the offensive fighter, putting together his combinations, and just being a big unit but i don't think that's how you do it against Usyk. i think Usyk is too quick and too elusive i think tyson needs to use his range and his reach to his advantage he needs to stick and move jab 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 set up your combinations uh keep the range at your reach you don't you do not want to let alexander Usyk get on the inside you do not want to let Usyk really control this fight you want to be the one controlling this fight so i think using your range your distance and that long jab that he has of his is really going to pay dividends to him being successful in this fight and if if Usyk has one flaw in his game i think it is the body we have seen multiple times him not like getting hit by body shots anthony joshua did it a couple times but he really was unable to take advantage of it and we saw the big controversial daniel dubois low blow which i guess it was a low blow but it still was a body shot and we saw it took Usyk a long time to recover granted i think if it was a if it was considered a knockdown, Usyk would have got up by 10, but we could tell he does not like body shots. So Fury is able to attack the body, which it's going to be very difficult attacking a man who is 6'3 and you are 6'9. That is going to be a difficult task to do. But if you are able to attack that body of Usyk, I think you are going to have a lot more success. You're going to slow down Usyk and you're going to really be able to play your game and really have success in this fight. But at the end of the day, y'all came here for one thing and one thing only, and that is Big Baby Venegas. Who do you have winning this fight? And the answer is... I think Alexander Usyk is an amazing fighter, an all-time great fighter, greatest cruiserweight of all time, that is no doubt. Head movement, footwork, in and out, jab, feints, putting together combinations, just being able to have a great ring IQ, being able to be an all-around just great fighter. But I have Tyson Fury winning this fight. I just, I, I cannot get over the size. I cannot get over the reach. And I just think Tyson Fury always finds a way to win no matter what the circumstances are. He plays to the level of his opponent. He figures things out in the ring with you. I mean, seeing the Deontay Wilder fights, that he was able to make those adjustments to get up from the dead and dominate that 12th round in the Wilder 1 fight and then to come back and absolutely demolish the man who was destroying the heavyweight division. I just can't... I can't see Fury losing. And, and being... An analyst and reporter, I have to be unbiased. And as much of an Usek fan as I am, I cannot see Fury losing. So I am going Tyson Fury to win by a unanimous slash split decision. I still think Usek is going to have a lot of success. I'm not saying it's going to be easy whatsoever. I do think Usek is going to have a lot of success. And I can see Usek winning this fight. Don't get me wrong. I can see Usek winning. But if, you're, if you have a gun to my head and you're telling me, Evan, you need to make a pick. I can't go against Tyson Fury, especially after seeing the shape he's in. He is so locked into this fight. Not saying Usek isn't, which I don't want to get that misconstrued because I, again, I am a Usek fan. He is my favorite fighter in the world, but I have to be unbiased. And I think I have Tyson Fury winning this fight. But I want to know what you guys think down below. Let me know in the comments who y'all think are, is going to win this fight. I know. I mean, I know I'm going to be watching this fight. We're going to have a lot of coverage on this fight right after. A bunch of videos are going to be coming out on the TikTok and YouTube. So be sure you are following those Big Baby Venegas both on TikTok and YouTube. And I appreciate y'all for being here. Make sure to leave a like down below if you all did enjoy this video. And subscribe if you are new, man. Daily basketball and boxing content on the channel. But until next time enjoy the fight this is going to be once in a lifetime we do not get to see undisputed championship fights very often so take advantage of this enjoy it and i will see you all next time it's been your boy evan peace